And welcome back to the Daily Dose. In this section, we'll take a look at your daily dose of cultural news. It's one of Syria's most recognizable ancient artifacts, a three-meter tall statue of a lion that once stood at the gates of the desert oasis town of Palmyra. Destroyed by Islamic State jihadists a few years ago, it's now being restored to its former glory. Our culture correspondent, Maya Margit, has more. For millennia, the Lion of Alat stood guard in Palmyra, one of Syria's most famous artifacts, unique, weighing 15 tons and smashed to pieces by the Islamic State. Now, after intense restoration efforts, it's finally on display once more, this time in Damascus. It's an exceptional statue. There are no more such statues in Palmyra. It was uh, international known symbol of Palmyra. It was standing in front of the museum. Every tourist visiting Palmyra and the museum had photo with it. IS took over Palmyra in May 2015. During their rule, they destroyed some of the heritage site's most beautiful temples and artifacts, including the famed Lion of Alat, which dates back to the first century BCE. After painstaking efforts and with funding from UNESCO, archaeologists managed to return the ancient statue to its former glory. But the road to Damascus was not an easy one either. The major difficulties were when we were carrying the statue in Palmyra. We had three attempts. Two of them failed. The Lion of Alat did not want to leave Palmyra. It stuck to its land and its old place. Though it will stay at the National Museum of Damascus for a while, antiquities experts hope to return it home in the future. It will stay in Damascus in the short term. In the long term, we may return it to its place that it was found in Palmyra. Although not yet home, the line of Alat is standing proudly once more. Maya Margit, I-24 News. And for more, we're joined by Maya Margit here in the studio. Maya, certainly a remarkable high-profile status of Syria's emergence from civil war, a very uh, big uh, trophy for the Assad regime as it effectively declares victory. But let's have a look at this line. What more can you tell us about what its original purpose might have been way back when? Yeah, that's right. So 2,000 years ago, before Islam, this was basically a statue for the pre-Islamic goddess named Alat. Alat in Arabic is the female form of Allah, which means the god. So Alat means the goddess. Uh, it was one of the three main Major goddesses that were worshipped back then, 2,000 years ago, and she was a goddess of fertility and springtime. And lions are basically feared and respected animals, so the lion was supposed to be her companion, guarding the temple of Alat, was adorning the temple, and it would warn people not to have bloodshed or violence in that area, in that sanctuary. It was considered a sanctuary. So there was an inscription written, Alat will bless whoever will not shed blood in the sanctuary. And that's what the purpose of the statue was initially. Interesting. A pre-Islamic statue, so this is presumably why ISIS wanted to blow it up. That, that is one of the reasons. They do say, they do believe, the Islamic State does say that they believe that pre-Islamic artworks are heretical and that anything showing uh, previous gods or goddesses before Islamic history should be destroyed. Although that's not entirely true. When it does benefit them, they don't destroy certain items. Uh, it's certainly an irony here. You said this is a fertility goddess. Uh, Isis itself, if we remember, was an Egyptian fertility goddess. So there's an odd irony here. But, yes. but I want to ask you, uh, Islamic State didn't blow up everything did it what can you tell us what's interesting is if you look at the videos of you know those very famous infamous videos of islamic state destroying all the things in the palmyra museum a very sad video to watch very you know enraging kind of video but what archaeologists noticed in those videos is that some of the explosions of objects were a little bit too dramatic so they realized that these were plaster replicas some of these things were not actually destroyed they were just used for propaganda purposes to show that the islamic state was not you know paying attention to history or the international community but what they did is they took some of the artifacts whatever they could sell and they would sell them they have an, they actually have an uh, uh, antiquities department in the islamic state where they grant licenses to people to go and loot and excavate archaeological extraordinary sites. islamic state's greed and need for money really overpowering their uh, religious zeal uh, so what more can you tell us about the looting of these artifacts. How far have they reached across the globe? 
Well, it's very hard to estimate exactly how far they've reached because some of these items are still being uncovered in Europe and in the United States. A lot of them made their way to Europe and the United States where there are many collectors and antiquities markets. But they're saying that it's in the hundreds of millions of dollars, perhaps even over billion dollars or several billion dollars. It's very hard to estimate. But now they're coming up with new technologies to try to prevent this in the future, especially with regards to Syria. They just invented something called smart water, which is a polymer-based uh, liquid that they're throwing on all the antiquities in parts of Syria undercover. So that if these antiquities show up somewhere else in the world, they can shine a special kind of light on them. Uh, it's invisible to the naked light. And that's safe for the antiquities. It doesn't destroy it's them. It's safe for the antiquities. It lasts for years, apparently. And apparently, if it shows up somewhere else, an uh, expert can shine this light on it, and they will see if it came from Syria. But that's just one small solution.